Thanks, uh, dear friends, dear colleagues. It's about 11 months and we will have election in Europe for the European Parliament. And we should not be in doubt that these elections are very, very important because it's about change. Change from a conservative dominated commission, conservative dominated council, and even, or so we try the best, sometimes conservative dominated parliament, but with a president of the parliament who is just the opposite of conservative, who is strong and is fighting for a social Europe. But we have to change the majorities. This is not some easy game, let's be honest. But we have to change because the results of conservative activities has been disastrous. Never in history of Europe we had so many unemployed people. Never in history of Europe we have so many young unemployed people, up to 50, 60 percent in some countries. It is a shame and it is time for a change in Europe. And this we are fighting in the group every day, together with you, together with the national parties. And there has, been, has to be unity in that. Because only if we stick together and concentrate on the major aim and the major targets, we can be successful. We have been successful when we were united, even if we had some resistance here and there, but at the end of the day, to be united. If we are just hopefully just only weeks before getting a financial transaction tax. It is us, to us, to the socialists in European Parliament, in national governments and national parliaments who were fighting for it and we have to have it. Because a financial transaction tax is part of tax justice and we need tax justice for our citizens. It is not acceptable to be against it. And as the, the one colleague from Luxembourg just showed me, you can show it again, the no tax heavens. Colleagues, this is the other issue. Let's not forget council meeting, prime ministers, G8, G20, whatever, they speak now about tax evasion. Who started? The social democrats and socialists started. When we published the study, we asked for that 1,000 billion of euro, 1,000 billion of euro every year is not going to the tax authority but into the tax heavens and tax exemptions. At the beginning people were surprised but now everybody takes up the issue. And therefore our slogan we want to present as a party and as a group, no tax heavens is something we have to agree on, we have to fight for it. Because we need the money for investment. We could have a big renovation investment program in Europe if we would get the money, or at least part of the money, back to the citizens. And when Margaret Thatcher said, I want my money back, she meant the British contributions. If we say we want our money back, it's from the tax havens to the citizens. That's what we have to mount for, and that's what we have to fight for. So there are many of these elements. I don't want to draw all this attention to you on many of the issues we are fighting, but uh, maybe the one thing. Everybody speaks now about the European, or the Economic and Monetary Union, to strengthen the European Union. But we need also a social union. An economic and monetary union without social dimension, without concern for the citizens in their social fields is not acceptable for us and therefore we fight that the council and the majority agrees finally that the social elements are part of the game and not only the economic and the monetary game. And I'm very happy that Nicola Schmidt is here who worked together with CETA, many of us on the youth unemployment program because this is the message we have to give to the citizens. And therefore, dear colleagues, we are very reluctant to accept the so-called compromise on the European budget. I know, and I just spoke with Alfredo and spoke with others, People want the money from the European Union in their regional funds, in their scientific uh, community. But it has to be a budget which can be accepted. It has to be a budget which gives uh, money to the people who need it. And I don't know why all these people, and Madame Merkel is now calling a big, big event in July for the fight against youth unemployment. How do they want to fight without money? 
Yes, money doesn't pay everything, but without a reasonable budget, especially in the coming years, it is not possible. And we were very modest in our demands as a group, very modest. But let me be clear, an agreement of our group to a European budget is only possible if there is enough money for the young unemployed. They need the money and not uh, some finance ministers. And uh, coming to the end, let me be very open. We are here in Bulgaria. Thank you very much for the invitation, Sergei. And we are here in Bulgaria after an election victory, which we could have thought uh, is even greater, but it was very clear and very important to get rid of the Borisov government. Let's be very honest. This government who tried to cheat at the election, this government who had so many connections with dubious figures, to say the least, it's time to have ended Borisov's government in Bulgaria. There is no doubt about that. And now, therefore, we need now to give our support and our expectations to the new government. And I know, colleagues, let's be frank, we are in a critical situation in the country. But I know that Sergei was fighting for many, many years for the modernization, for the change of the country, for, for saying no to the past and yes to a future as a democratic country which is fighting corruption, as a country which is modernizing itself and the modernizing the structures. And therefore we need the success not only of the party, but also of the government. Because this government must show the difference to the former government. This government must show, yes, we work together, although we don't have a majority yet, yet, I underline, that we can do it not only better, but we do it differently. Because we have to fight the corruption, we have to fight for democratic institutions, we have to fight for a strong civil society in order to modernize Bulgaria, and therefore, we wish you good success. It will be not easy. There are many, many problems to solve, but uh, your success is our success. It's not only because, Sergei, you are the chair and the president of the party, but because we see, and Victor Ponto will come very soon when we saw the situation in Romania, we see what the alternative is. The alternative is, should I tell you, Borisov. The alternative is Viktor Orban. The alternative is Berlusconi. These are the alternatives. We have to make it very clear that we do it differently. We made it clear in many countries. Josef Muscat is here. We made it clear in the smaller countries like Malta. We made it clear in France what the difference is. So let's not return to Borisov. Let's not return to the philosophies from Berlusconi to Viktor Orban. Let's have a social democratic alternative who is fighting for the social needs of the citizens, who is fighting for democracy and is fighting against corruptive structures. This is the task not only in Bulgaria, in many of our countries we still have to do because the socialists are the reform party and we will demonstrate to the citizens if you want to reform, it is with us and not without us. Thank you very much.